What is up YouTube? It has been a very long time and I'm sorry, not sorry. Uh, what is this video? Uh, this is finally a full review of this beautiful, magnificent guitar here that you guys, if you follow the channel, saw the unboxing of. And now we're just going to take a closer, hopefully better look with some actual good sound samples. Uh, what you were hearing there, and I probably annotated the screen uh, to show you what you were hearing, but it should have been a mix and of uh, a room mic, which is my Audio Technica mic, but also new to the channel. Uh, I also got myself a uh, Two Notes Torpedo Captor 8 ohms, I think is the full like name of it. Uh, not the point of this video, but just so you guys know, I will maybe do a review of this thing as well later on. I've recorded a whole song with it, and it worked fantastically. Uh, it is basically something that sits between your amp head and your cab. Uh, it's an attenuator, but it also lets me capture the signal from the amp and put it directly into my uh, audio interface. So I'm basically DIing my Mesa Boogie amp instead of having to set up microphones on a cabinet. Uh, what you were hearing there is just, because it also has it built in, a couple of uh, speaker emulations. I'm not going to do anything fancy for this video, that's not the point. What you were hearing is the Mesa Boogie through the captor uh, using the built-in guitar cab emulation, which does a decent enough job. Uh, anyway, this guitar, what is it? It is the 2017, I believe, Mark Holcomb Signature PRS SE, which means it is made in Korea. Now, uh, if you follow this channel, you might be asking yourself, Dave, why the hell did you buy yet another PRS? You already have a Core, you already have an S2, why did you spend the money and get yourself an SE? Uh, well, one, come on. Look at it. This thing's beautiful. Um, even uh, if I'm walking through a guitar shop with like non-musician friends and they see this thing on the wall, they're like, holy shit, that looks beautiful. That must be expensive. Uh, but there you go. I love the color. I love the finish. Yes, it is only a veneer. It is a Korean-made guitar. It's only a veneer, but it looks astounding. It's probably... Next to my core, it's probably the most beautiful guitar I own. Uh, so you get... Obviously, this beautiful quilt top veneer. Uh, what do you get otherwise? Uh, well, 24 frets, which is a nice thing to have. Fixed bridge, for those of you that, like me, mostly don't really use and don't really like a trim. Uh, you know if you follow this channel that either my guitars have a fixed tail or I lock most of them. Uh, I keep a couple with just for if I want to fuck around, but it's not my favorite. Uh, master tone. Master volume, three-way switch, so full bridge, both full neck, obviously. The tone control is also a push-pull to split both coils, so then you can end up with just a single coil, both single coils, and just a single coil in the neck. This guitar, and also a big selling point for me, was the fact that it comes with Seymour Duncan pickups, which you heard in the start, uh, you were basically just hearing the bridge in full humbucker mode. We'll play some samples on the neck as well, we'll split it, we'll do some cleans, don't worry, we're getting to that. Uh, Seymour Duncan signature pickups for Mark Holcomb, Alpha and Omega, I think it's Alpha and Omega, but it could be the other way around. I don't really care. Uh, sound is a very subjective thing, I don't know what you guys thought of it from the... Uh, demo that we heard at the start there. Uh, what you were hearing, by the way, and I should have mentioned this earlier, uh, is uh, basically this guitar uh, through a couple of pedals, uh, mainly a uh, TS-9, Ibanez TS-9, uh, into into a uh, Mesa Boogie Mini Rectifier 25 on the modern channel. Uh, it is pretty jacked because, like I said, it's now going through an attenuator, which is cutting out 20 decibels. Uh, lets you crank the amp a bit more. I find it sounds better that way. Um, yeah, that's what you were hearing. And then just this and uh, through the torpedo, going through the cab emulation built into it and into my audio interface. That was all you were hearing in that little intro, just to give you guys a little idea. 
and also going through the cab and uh, so continuing on what else do you get with this guitar like I was saying 24 frets the neck is bound which is a nice touch the frets feel amazing uh, non-locking tuners just normal standard tuners I was kind of worried uh, but with the fixed bridge I've had zero tuning stability issues with this guitar a lot of people say that they just out of the box replace the nut right away. It is kind of cheapy plastic. I've had no issues with it. I was willing to, and I was already planning on ordering a replacement nut, replacing the tuners with locking tuners, and I see no need to. Uh, another awesome feature of this guitar is the very smooth satin finish back of the neck. Uh, you'll see a lot of guitar players will take like a scotch bright and kind of scuff up the back of the neck to get that satin feel this comes with uh, now as I was saying this is made in Korea there is one and I think I showed this on uh, the original video and there's just one little imperfection right in here which I don't even think will come up on camera otherwise this thing is perfect uh, I've had this for a couple of months now the tuning stays solid it's uh, the only other guitars that I have that stayed this in tune is my other two PRS. Uh, now I said a couple of times now, I've got a Core, I've got an S2, I've got an SE. Uh, definitely, honestly, if you guys can afford, I would still go with the Core model. But this thing, for the price it is, it, you're gonna have a very hard time finding something else in this kind of price range that has this many features with these great pickups that looks this good that plays this good uh, this thing is hard to beat uh, just bang for your buck this thing is uh, I put this above the S2's I might even put this above the cores to be honest because the cores are stupidly expensive now uh, this thing retails for a thousand a hundred something Canadian uh, the cores I just found out now retail if you want a custom 24 no tent top no nothing special about it just a bog standard custom 24 now retails for four thousand nine hundred ninety nine and ninety nine five grand basically Canadian uh, you could buy four of these and then still have change left over to uh, buy a cool pedal buy something else uh, so it's kind of hard to justify the core. Don't get me wrong, my PRS24 is by far my favorite guitar. It's never going to get sold. It is staying there. I am going to die with that thing. It's my favorite guitar I've ever touched, I've ever played. But, bang for the buck, you would have a hard time convincing anyone that this thing is not worth the money. Uh, another feature that's kind of weird, I kind of got used to and I'm kind of really digging it, is the super flat fretboard. I mentioned this in the unboxing. It's got a 20 inch radius. What that means is uh, the curve of the neck. Uh, the smaller the number, the bigger the curve. The bigger the number, the flatter the neck will feel. 20 is pretty goddamn flat. Uh, anyway, enough chatting. Uh, you guys probably just want to hear this thing. So here is just the and I'm going to cut out the room mic for this, you're just going to be hearing the amp.
be soloing for you guys on the neck, uh, just because that's usually what I use the neck pickup for is kind of leads. Anyway, uh, let me just switch off and we'll give you guys some clean. Uh, no reverb, no nothing, no other effects. This is going to be just the guitar and the amp on the Mezza Boogie rectifier in the clean channel. <laughs> So this is the bridge pickup, sorry I forgot to mention. Both. humbucker, coil tapped, single coils together. sound samples and a quick overview of a PRS SE Mark Holcomb signature. Uh, I love this thing. I play it often. Obviously, uh, sorry, I should have mentioned at the start, obviously I'm not in standard tuning. I am in C tuning. Uh, this thing will actually come shipped if you buy it or you buy it from a store. It should still be in. Uh, it's drop C, so it's just standard D tuning and they just drop the big string to big string. I'm using technical terms today. Uh, the sixth string is just dropped down to C. Obviously I've just tuned it down to C fully. And uh, yeah, there you go. PRS SE Mark Holcomb sound samples and a quick overview. I love this thing. Uh, it's not my favorite guitar, but it's up there. And I, for bang for the buck, you guys are going to have a damn hard time uh, finding something that is better for this kind of money. Uh, the Korean-made PRS are top-notch nowadays. Uh, I know when they first came out, I wasn't a fan. They felt very cheap. This thing, like I said, rivals the S2. Uh, honestly, if you took off that SE and you just wrote S2 and you sold this as is, telling people it was an American-made S2, uh, you would have a lot of trouble finding anyone that would disbelieve you. Honestly, uh, I don't know why PRS doesn't just make this in an S2 and charge a lot more money for it. Uh, this thing is rock solid. I love this thing. Anyway, enough rambling. Thank you guys. Uh, more videos coming soon. I'm sorry I've been uh, very absent. I had actually filmed a couple of pedal unboxing. I thought I had uploaded them. I didn't. And I rewatched them and I was kind of thinking to myself, uh, if I'm going to do demos of them, why bother uploading the, un the like unboxings now? Uh, so that's coming soon. Uh, new pedals uh, that you can look forward to seeing. I got a Fuzzhugger Doom Bloom, which I am loving. 
And uh, I also, just the other week, bought a Walrus Audio Julia, which, again, uh, video is coming for both of those. Hopefully soon, I'm off work for a couple of days, so you might see those pop up uh, right after this video. Anyway, like I said, way too much rambling, so thank you guys very much. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and uh, have a great day.